Brad, we're about to see one of your favorite items here, so I'm intrigued. What is it? It's a stone sculpture of a Hopewell medicine man, or perhaps a medicine woman. It's called the Ray figurine, but that simply commemorates the fact that a guy named Charles Ray once owned it. I prefer to call it the Shaman of Newark because it situates this individual in the context in which it was recovered. It was found in the bottom of the largest burial mound at the center of the burial mounds at the Newark Earthworks. What's that tell you? That tells you that this individual that it represents, perhaps, that certainly the person that it was buried with was at the very foundations of one of the greatest pieces of architecture in America. Well, what is it? Tell me about it, show it to us. Well, you'll notice it doesn't sit upright. It has to lay down. It's not made to sit on a flat surface to be presented in an exhibit. I think it's meant to be held. Um, and I think it's probably a storytelling object. And you'll see that it's a human. There's no sexually sexual characteristics that allow us to tell whether it's a man or a woman. And in American Indian ceremonial life, both men and women in different tribes can wear bear regalia, so it could be either one. But it's a, a person wearing bear regalia, a bear's head on their head, bear claws on their hands, um, what appears to be a decapitated human head in their lap. But the left hand there is on the side of the, the bear mask or the bear regalia and I believe it's represented in the very act of transforming from human to bear and back again. That's why I refer to it as a shaman. And if you are telling the story of it, you can make it transform ah. into a bear and back. <laughs> um, it depends on what part of the story you're in. And in a way, I think this is an early form of cinema that, that allows you to animate the figure while you're telling the story to depict, to show the very transformation that it represents. How old is it? It's 2,000 years old, belongs to the Hopewell culture. And is this stone that's carved or is it clay that was molded? This is stone that was, was carved in this way. When it was freshly carved, it would have been a brighter yellow than this. It's weathered to this beautiful brown. And uh, we do find Hopewell burials where a person is interred and a, a skull, a decapitated human head is buried with them. Now, in later American Indian cultures, that might be an enemy that they've killed, and it's a trophy skull. And many of these skulls from Hopewell sites were called trophy skulls. But this isn't a warrior, this is a priest. I believe these are ancestors, that it's a form of ancestor worship. If you were an important person in Hopewell society, when you died, perhaps they decapitated you and kept your head. So this is almost like a photograph, or it may be almost like a photograph of a ceremony that was being performed at Newark 2,000 years ago. This is an amazing object. The past never gives itself to you as fully as it does in an image like this.